Alrighty, so they dropped the news a little early. It's 9 p.m. Uh, I'm a little late because I wasn't expecting it this early. But uh, yeah, I'm actually excited for this patch because uh, Margaret comes out and I'm pretty sure that there's a decent amount of content in this one. So it looks like we're going to have early maintenance. Uh, pretty early, actually. Um, 9 p.m. PDT is for the West Coast. So that means it's going to be around midnight for me. So that means we'll be able to do a live stream a little bit earlier, which is kind of nice. So if you guys want to watch me summon for Margaret, uh, I guess feel free to subscribe and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, 12 p.m. for me or 12 a.m. for me. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So update preview uh, to celebrate the 1.5 year anniversary. We have prepared various updates and events. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoy the events more to come. So we're getting a new story chapter. We're getting story chapter 19, um, which is really nice. Honestly, anytime they add new story to the game, it's kind of a nice little thing just because it's going to be easy content or well, maybe not easy necessarily, but uh, it's normally pretty straightforward content that you can kind of blow through and get some pretty decent rewards and stuff like that out of. So that is always nice. Clearing 100% of each chapter's quest will unlock, uh, will be unlocked after the next story update. Um, please look forward to our next story update. What? Clearing 100% of each chapter's quests. Uh, I have no idea what they mean by that. I'll be honest. I, I mean, we already get like a 100% clearer like reward we get 30 diamonds every time we complete a chapter so i'm not really sure what they're talking about with this um new hero obviously we're getting the new um festival ludociel margaret uh reach 100 uh reach 900 loyalty points to choose between either her uh executioner's eldress or assault mode meliotis which is cool um i don't really know why you would choose either of the other two to be honest this unit is apparently like top notch like very very good so you probably just want to stock up on as many copies of her as you can get uh so yeah all right able to be acquired in the 1.5th 1.5th anniversary holy war festival flash of light festival draw event um, there are new events which are going to be there's a gold perks event these are also kind of neat just because you can basically just use the gear gotcha and spend like a ton of gold and get a lot of free rewards and stuff like that out of it uh, i like these a little bit better than the diamond perks events because those kind of force you to spend your you know diamonds to get rewards whereas with gold you know it's pretty easily farmed etc um, so that's kind of nice we're getting a king's uh, material exchange event which is also really good i really like when these come around because you can swap out a lot of your like lower level pendants for better things and such and i <laughs> i have like probably over a thousand rare pendants that I just never get to use. So, uh, Radiant Supply Storage, I honestly have no clue what that is. The, unless they go over it a little bit, I really have no clue. Radiant Supply Storage? Not really sure on that one. Uh, various boosting events, I'm assuming they're just going to be making it to where um, leveling up units and stuff like that, you have a higher success rate chance. Um, I would assume probably like the uh, the salvage event is going to be going on as well. Uh, they'll probably say somewhere down in here. And then Hawk's Radiant Treasure Chest. What is the Radiant thing? We're also getting Oboru. Uh, Oboru? I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, he's actually pretty cool. Like a little boss, nothing too insane, but I think his design is really interesting. Um, they always end up making these look really, like, funny. He kind of looks like Wobbuffet from Pokemon. But, um, yeah, we're getting special missions. Uh, we are getting Oberu and an exchange shop for him. This Radiant Supply Storage. Uh, gold perks, blah, blah, blah. And then it looks like player rank XP is going to be times three, which is kind of nice. Um, hero upgrade resource discount event. Uh, main free stage is 50% stamina uh, discount, which is kind of nice. Um, main quest free continue. These are actually really nice if you're on like a lot of the harder missions and stuff like that because uh, if you if you fail in the middle of the mission and you do like normally if you were to pay the, the diamonds or whatever the fee is um, to get a free continue it basically keeps the enemies at whatever HP they're at and this will give you one free continue um, which is kind of nice. Um, all village shops are going to be open so this would be a good time to like go around and purchase any like of the new um, like artifact cards or anything like that from the shops if you you know haven't gotten those already uh, increase material shop uh, purchase limit which is kind of nice if you're missing out on any of your like awakening materials or anything like that you can go stock up on those because the limit is re uh, you know brought up a little bit higher uh, and then yeah uh, hero enhance super and ultra uh, success rate ups 
So we're getting a new battle event for uh, Escanor is going to be the lead, I guess. They are giving, or not giving out, they are doing three new outfits for the new Lodosiel, which is really cool. I honestly like a lot of these outfits. Um, I think they 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 look pretty good. <laughs> and uh, I really like Margaret, so I'll probably end up getting all of them. It looks like they are bringing back the most malevolent knighthood sets, one and two. So these are honestly some of the best looking costumes as far as I'm concerned for like the, the, the sins. And I think these outfits look really great. I have, uh, I think I have every single one of these except for bonds because there wasn't a good bond whenever these first came out. But um, these are really cool sets. I like, I like these sets a lot. So if you want those, they are going to be available. Obviously, Demon Meliodas isn't super relevant now. Um, the older Escanor isn't really as useful anymore, but I don't know. You could you could probably scrape together and use some of these if, uh, if you still use any of these characters. There are going to be some new bundles going on, which <laughs> who knows how much these are going to cost. They, I think these are normally like the, the higher end sort of bundles, like especially this one right here with the, the 100 diamonds and the the resources and stuff like that that's probably going to be like an 80 dollar bundle but uh yeah i don't necessarily recommend buying any of these unless you just really want the diamonds because a lot of this stuff you can just farm out in game by just playing the game uh, so that's just my two cents on it uh, but there's going to be a discount diamond bundle, upgrade bundle one and two, equipment upgrade bundle one and two, costume enhancement bundle, um, daily hero ticket and upgrade bundle, and then there's going to be the diamond shop bonuses. Uh, the diamond shop bonuses, if I'm not mistaken, during festivals are literally just, you know, you get X amount of diamonds and you get X amount of summon tickets for the banners. So those are kind of nice, I guess. Um, I don't really like those as much. I, th I think that they should just you know, maybe up the amount of diamonds you get out of them and just give you diamonds per se. Because uh, personally, if you end up getting the character that you want out of the tickets or something like that um, early, then the rest of those tickets, you're just basically forced to spend them on the banner. Whereas if they just gave you extra diamonds, you'd be able to, you know, save those for the next banner or whatever the case may be. So I don't know, <laughs> just my personal opinion on that one. Uh, system changes, they are adding floors 7 through 9 of the uh, the Tower of Trials, which is really cool. So we're getting three floors all at one time, which is pretty neat. Um, I will be going over all three of those as soon as they come out. Or, well, probably not as soon as they come out because I'm going to be doing summons and everything like that. But I will be doing a video on each one of these um, so that way you guys can go through it. I try to keep those pretty short and concise so that way it's not wasting a whole lot of time. Um, so, yeah, I guess look forward to those. I'll probably end up dropping those sometime after I finish the summoning live stream. Um, new floors will be added to the Tower of Trials. Previously cleared floors will not be reset. Um, enemies, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much the same stuff they always say with the uh, Tower of Trials here. New artifact cards. Um, number 10, Two-Faced Angel. Increases damage dealt by allies with the four Archangel characteristics by 10% in Brawl. That's actually pretty interesting. I didn't know that they were going to be doing set, um, set bonuses for Brawl. So that's kind of cool. And then number 11 is the Holy Knights. Increases starting grade rare here, uh, allies, basic stats by 30% in PvP. That's actually pretty good. Like you could you could definitely use the Holy Knight set um, with Twigo to help buff his stats up a little bit to maybe get you some more CC and stuff for uh, the Bond team, which would be pretty interesting new cards there's going to be angel smile advent of flash which i assume is ludo cl uh, beginning beginning greetings gate of celestial realm light of grace and then there's going to be a new card pack which is seam card pack 2 which i assume is this one right here maybe uh actually probably not because that's e1 uh, this is event boss battle exchange shop up to two, uh, up to three times so i guess that's kind of cool i do like the uh the artifact card system i think it's kind of just Kind of just like extra fun that you can kind of mess around with in the game nothing nothing insane like it doesn't feel like something that you're like obligated to mess with but uh they can give you like small little uh bonuses and stuff like that if you kind of mess with it so that's kind of cool um artifact card system changes if you already own artifact cards uh stored in each material shop in the villages and fight festival shop the card will be displayed as currently owned in the purchase menu okay so that way you're not getting confused on whether or not you have it or not, I guess. Artifact cards now, disp uh, now display locations. That's actually really nice. I've honestly been, uh, I've tried to click on a few cards to see which card pack they come out of and you can't do that currently. So the fact that they're adding that is honestly kind of nice. 
Um, tapping on your own plate or owned plate cards and card packs will now display the number of cards you own. That's kind of cool. Uh, when you open your card pack with continue open button and run out of cards, the continue open button will now be disabled and notify that no card packs are available. Okay, I guess uh, that makes sense. Uh, hero characteristic system changes. Um, so it looks like there there's a new characteristic that shows what team they're a part of, like what, I, I guess, like group they're in, which is kind of interesting. So Sariel is a part of the four archangels. Um, and then, oh, okay, so that way that you can get the buffs out of using these, uh, this set right here. So, damage dealt increase level one increases damage dealt by allies with the four archangels characteristic by 2% in brawl. And I think they said what? That one goes all the way up to 10% at max level, so at level five. So, pretty interesting. So, I guess they're going to be making card sets that buff um, a characteristic. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, pretty neat there, I guess. Uh, characteristics added to the hero's description to find heroes applied uh, uh, artifact set bonus and unique hero filter this is actually really really cool as well the only way that i've known that you've been able to search like characters with specific skills or whatever the case may be is by using grand cross database and uh, obviously that's like an outside like third party tool so they're making it finally to where you know, it seems like this would have been like a no brainer. There's a lot of characters in the game at this point. So it only makes sense that they would add more ways to filter through the characters and like search for what you're looking for. So um, they're basically just adding a whole lot of like filter tools and stuff. So that way you can search through your box and find whatever you need um, a little bit easier. So that's really, really nice. Uh, hero group filter changes new filtering tool is added for attribute race characteristics characteristic filters are all characteristics the seven catastrophes commandment or collab race filters are um, all races demon giant human fairy goddess unknown attribute filters are all attributes strength hp and speed um, added hero skill search this one is the one that i was kind of talking about um, skill effects are divided into four types of search slash filter to find heroes um, attack, debuff, buff, or other. And then Hero's Way Enhanced Rewards. Um, what is Hero's Way? Uh, I don't necessarily remember. Hero's Start, Clear Fort Solgris Enhancement. Um, move a skill to rank up. What? I don't, is this like the... Um, I think if you're like a newer player or like a returning player or something like that you get like some small missions or something like that that you can do to give you a couple of free like uh rewards and stuff like that i think that's what this is i honestly don't know that i've ever done this on my account uh but i think it's for like returning players if i'm not mistaken but i'm not too sure um add reward changes okay very interesting so draw part one part two and part three uh, requirement you view an ad you get one free draw daily count one for all draws inbox view ad you get a potion one view per day view ad previous was okay okay so this is actually kind of interesting so previously you could only do the the you could view an ad every day once a day and you would get a free draw on the part one banner now they're making it to where you can view an ad one time for each of the part one part two and part three draws so on each of the part one part two and part three banners you can view an ad one time a day and get a free draw on all three of the banners which is kind of cool um i mean i know watching ads probably isn't your you know <laughs> what you're looking to do in the game but uh as somebody who pretty much does the like they watch the ad every day just to get see if they can get an ssr um I don't know, that's kind of cool. Pretty much triples your chances and the fact that we're getting it for part two and part three banners, you know, there's some decent SSRs and stuff like that. And since we've only been able to do it on part one this whole time, kind of nice. I was I was kind of wondering what they were going to do with this because on the um, on the JP and Korean versions of the game, they don't do they didn't do the ad thing. They basically did like a discount summon where like once a day you could spend one gem instead of three to do a single summon on the part two banner and if i'm not mistaken i think they moved that to the part three banner at this point but i'm not honestly too sure about that so uh i was hoping 
that they weren't going to change it for us to where it was just a discount summon because I wouldn't spend one gem a day on a, a single. I just I would rather just save the gems in general to summon on a banner um, and do a multi, <laughs> but just personal preference there. So uh, that's kind of cool, honestly. I'm not hating on that. I mean, you don't have to watch the ads if you don't want to. Plus, I mean, they're just basically extending it to the other two part uh, two part banners. So that's kind of cool. Other game changes: deathmatch attribute text changed to an icon uh, from the info pop-up, okay. Um, Knighthood contributions list of items now include demonic uh, Belmoth cores, okay. Knighthood of the Moon uniform and Knighthood of the Sun uniforms ultimate move cutscene is added. Knighthood of the Moon uniform and Knighthood of the Sun uniforms ultimate move cutscene is added. I have no idea what they're referencing that. Like, I've got no idea what they're talking about with that one. Uh, bugs fixed. The issue in which setting the artifact card briefly displays a different language. Okay, I didn't, I've never seen that one. And then it looks like Tower of Trials Season 7 for Global is going to be ending. So if you haven't already done that, make sure that you try to work on that. Uh, I think this is one of the tougher ones with the Archangels. But with a lot of the units that we have today, um, they didn't have a lot of those units on JP whenever they were doing these. So just... I don't know. Just try your best. Honestly, getting a lot of those rewards is kind of nice. Um, the Vacation Step Up banner is going to be ending, so I think that's the Roxy banner. Um, Summer Vacation Festival events are going to be ending, so the Hawk Pass is going away. Uh, or, well, the Hawk Pass loyalty shop items are going away, so the summer, like, summer items or whatever. Uh, boosting events are going away, so the Knighthood Growth Boost event and Tavern... Uh, summer tavern decoration event is going away so your tavern will look normal after this if you haven't already changed your uh, tavern decorations uh, event part two stuff is going to be ending part three stuff is going to be ending and a couple of the summer bundles are going to be going away as well so this is a pretty decently big patch there's a decent amount of like quality of life changes some artifact card stuff is getting added and then obviously we're getting margaret and a new story chapter which is pretty cool so that's pretty much all that we have to go over today. Hopefully uh, everything will be good to go. They don't extend the maintenance, but uh, you never know with that kind of stuff. So I should be able to see you guys sometime tomorrow night for me. Um, and we'll do some summons for Margaret if you guys want to hang around. So feel free to subscribe so that way you can, you know, catch the live stream. If not, totally cool. Do whatever you want to do. Uh, but other than that, that's it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you guys in the, the next video.